Okay, we are back. This is uh, Tech Man 2. We're looking at uh, 6.11, and um, that's in the red book. And we're on page, what is it in the red book here? It looks like 285. 285. 285 in the red book, 611 fractional exponents. So they want us to write these as uh, fractional exponents. So you just take it and say, okay, whatever is on inside that goes on the top and the index that's on the outside that goes on the bottom. So when it's a square root, we have a write the two there, but there is a two there. So that is just five to the three halves, all right? This is x, whatever's inside is on top, whatever is outside the index is on bottom, numerator and denominator, so that's x to the 3 fourths, and y to the 10 ninths. And don't write that as a mixed number, don't write it as 1 and 1 ninth, all right? Just leave it as 10 ninths. Okie dokie, artichokey. All right, lovely. So then let's, um, and again, with square roots, we don't usually write the two there. So you just have to memorize when there's nothing there. There's a two in the denominator. So let's go the other way. What if they have it as fractions and they want us to write it in radical notation? That's the square root of x. That's the cube root of seven. And that is the fifth root of y. And all of these would be to the first power, except we don't really have to write that ever. You don't have to write to the first power. It's um, implied when there's nothing there, there's a one there. All right. So how about this one? This one is tricky. This one is going to take a little explaining. So that is to the five sixths. And this is to the two thirds. And then remember, like when we had x to the eighth over x to the fifth, you just say x to the eight minus five, which would be x to the third. Right? So when you have like bases and you're dividing, then you subtract the exponents. So I have like bases and I am dividing, so I'm going to subtract these exponents only. It's a little more complicated than that one because that was just 8 minus 5, which you could do in your head is 3. This is 5, 6 minus 2 thirds. So now we're subtracting fractions, and remember you have to find a common denominator, which in this case is six. So I need sixes on the bottom. That one already has the six, so that just stayed five, six. This one, I multiply top and bottom by the same thing, which would be a two, and that would make that bottom into a six, and then the top into a four. And so we have five sixths minus four sixths. That is y to the 1 sixth power. And then I think they want it back in, do they want that one back? Let's see, they want us to put it back into radical form, they do. So that is as a fraction, fractional exponent back to a, a radical or a, a root. So that is the sixth root of y. So that actually simplifies to that. Okay, so that one was a little tough. These are pretty quick, um, 106 and 109, but 122, that one was a little more challenging. All right, let's take a look at 612. That's just putting them into decimal form, I think, which makes it easier to, to um, evaluate in your calculator, just to type in a decimal for a power, for an exponent. All right. So we've got 612. And that is, let's see, the fourth root. Uh, we're looking at 124 on um, page 290. So the fourth root of five. And the fifth root of y to the sixth. Okay. So they want us to convert these into decimal exponents. 
So here goes. We, we just first put it into fraction form, one fourth. And then remember, because there's a one there. So that's on top, that's on bottom. Um, and then remember how we convert fractions to decimals. You just take the numerator divided by the denominator. And then hit enter. That's five to the 0.25. So they don't actually want a decimal approximation. They don't want you to actually kick it into your calculator. They just want you to write it as um, a decimal exponent, all right? Same with this one, six fifths. And so that's six divided by five in my calculator. I believe that's 1.2, right? Yeah, 1.2. All right, let's take a look at 126. That one has seven to the 0.25. And they want me to put that into a radical um, and y to the 2.5. And they want me to put that into a radical. So remember, if I read this out loud, that is 25 hundredths. Remember, we normally just say 0.25. But if you read it properly, you read the number and then you throw on tenths or hundredths or thousandths or ten thousandths, wherever it stops. So it stops at hundredths place. So this would be read out loud 25 hundredths. It's also a way you can convert it instantly into a fraction. And then we can reduce that. Now, a lot of you probably notice 0.25 is one fourth anyway. But after we get it into this form, now we've got the fourth root of seven to the first, or just plain old the fourth root of seven. All right. Another way to do this is you count over, so that's a way not to read it out loud. You count how many places to make it a whole number, and that's how many zeros you add on the bottom. So you put a one, and then you just add two zeros because there's two places. All right. Same with this one. Let, let's do it. This is red, two and five tenths, but let's make it 25 over 10, that's easier. So there's one place to make it a whole number, and then there's one zero, because that's one zero after the one, to, because I moved it one place. So 25 tenths, which when I reduce that by five, is five halves. Oops. And now I have it in fraction form, so I went from decimal to fraction, and now we'll put it into, that is y to the fifth, and it's a square root, but I don't really put a two there for the index. When it's a square root, you just don't put anything there. And so that's the answer for that one. And then, Okay, so oh, here, let's, we'll look at 130 also. These are pretty quick problems. So let's look at So we have a bunch of y to the 1.5 times y to the 0.4, okay, and y to the 0.5 raised to the fifth, and t to the 0.75 over t to the 0.25 and x squared raised to the 0.6. So a bunch of different um, rules, right? When I'm multiplying like bases, I add the exponents. All right, and they're fine with um, us just leaving the answers as uh, decimals 
decimal exponents. So that's good. All right, so that, uh, when I have a power raised to a power, I multiply. So 5 times 0 0.5 is 2.5. When I divide things with like bases, I subtract. So that is 0.75 minus 0.25, which is t to the 0.5. And the power to a power again, I multiply. So x to the 1.2. All right. Lovely, definitely. Let's look at uh, 613 evaluating powers. So that is plug and chug. So you're just really going to put these in your calculator. We'll look at two problems. I'll show you the key on your calculator that you're going to hit. We'll look at 134, that's 4 to the 1.5, and that's 81 to the 0.25. Okay, and then we're looking at 138, that's 12 to the negative 4, and that's 9 to the negative, geez, is that a 5? Five. So those are going to be pretty small because that's 1 over 9 to the 5th and 1 over 12 to the 4th. So let's take a look at how to evaluate these on our calculator. So just really quickly, we're going to do 4 number four and then you hit the carrot this guy right here that means power okay and that's what it shows for power and then just type 1.5 and then hit enter <clears throat> so that one is eight uh let's do a negative one so look 12 to the power and now you use the negative button down there negative four and that's going to be Really tiny. So look at that readout. It says 4.822, and a lot of the students go, oh, so I go 4.8. No, 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 no. This negative 5 is like that scientific notation. That means 10 to the negative 5th power. So you actually have to count five decimal places in that direction when you're writing this one down. So let me show you what that looks like. On the first ones here, this was just um, 8... This one was just three. So those were pretty easy. Uh, this one, 12 to the negative four, is actually point zero 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 zero. There's four zeros. And then four, eight, two, two, five, three, zero, eight, six. The reason your calculator does this <clears throat> is because it doesn't want to waste up all of the, the room with a bunch of zeros. It wants to give you this information about the number. And so remember from Tech Math 1, we, call, we, we talked about significant digits. And remember, zeros didn't really count as significant unless they were between two significant digits. And so that's, that's why the calculator defaults to scientific notation. Now... Uh, they only wanted this one to um, millions, millions, so tenths, hundredths, thousands, ten thousandths, hundred thousandths, millionths place. So we look at the one to the right of it. If that's five, six, seven, eight, or nine, we bump that up to a nine. If it's four, three, two, one, zero, we just truncate, drop it off, and leave that at eight. So our answer for this one is point zero 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 zero. Four, eight. Okay. Same thing with this. We're going to go nine to the power negative five, and that kicks out one point six nine. Da 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 da. And then it has a little e negative five again. So I am again counting five places from the decimal. This is what my actual calculator says. Do not write this down as an answer. 
it is your job to interpret what your calculator is, is telling you. So look, this negative five, this e to the negative five means take this decimal and pop it over one, two, three, four, five places that way. So it is point zero, 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 one, two, three, four zeros, one, six, nine, three, five, zero, eight, seven, eight, one. That's what the answer is. And then they want it to millions. So tenths, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands, hundred thousands, millions. And we look at that, and so we're gonna bump that six up to a seven. So point zero, 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 one, seven is my answer for that, okay? Cool.